hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i mix this delicious fried fish stew and amalani we do with irupete inside so delicious very very yummy if you're eating this kind of food in abroad trust me you'll not miss home so if you want to see how i make it please watch the video to the end to find out how i make my husband and i favorite meal hope you enjoyed the video if you are new please do not forget to subscribe hit on the notification bell and those of you that you keep coming back thank you so much that looks yummy Ooh. so guys this is my fish this fish is called whitening and as you guys can see i've already uh, cut it into uh, smaller pieces of my choice and i've already also washed it i season it with salt and aromant and if you don't know what aromant is this is aromat it's like seasoning you know if you don't have this aromat you can use any seasoning uh, you normally use for your cooking to season it so i did this last night and i kept it in the fridge i just brought it out i want to start frying it so i'll be needing palm oil and vegetable oil for frying so i'm going to allow it to get hot and then i'll start frying the fish So guys, I finished frying my fish. Can you guys see? Finished frying. So this is a, the pepper I'm going to use. I have one bell pepper, a um, little bit, half, I'll call it half, half uh, the sweet red long pepper and one of the big one. And I have um, scotch bonnet. These ones are nice and spicy. I have one and a half red onions. I have my tomato plum so I'm going to go and blend this
so guys i'm also going to add iru this is iru pete it's also known as locust beans but this is the mash locust beans so i'm just going to allow that to break into the sauce I'm going to close it to cook for about two minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to add the fried fish. A bit too thick, so I'm going to add water. Add a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to cook this for about. Yeah, this is the consistency I need. I'm gonna cook this for another four to five minutes. Then it will be ready. Okay, as so I can see, you can see that it's ready. The oil is coming up. Once you are making stew and you see that the oil is coming up, you know that it's ready. Okay, so my fish stew is ready. I'm gonna take it off. Now we are going to make the ewedu. So guys, this is my Ewedu. Normally when I walk, buy my Ewedu like that, I normally pick it and uh, wash it and put it in a nylon like this and add maybe about three pieces of okra or four pieces of okra, okra and keep in my freezer for any time I want to cook it. Because the country where I'm based, which is UK, we don't find things like this every day you know you'll be lucky to find it twice a month or three times a month if you are lucky or none at all so when i find it like that i always usually buy i always buy maybe like a three bond of a widow and i'll pick and wash and divide into a, a smaller sizes and keep in the nylon and put in the freezer okay so yeah this is it from the freezer i'm going to pour it in my blender and then blend so as you guys can see, that is okra. Can you see the okra? That's the okra there. So, yeah, I'm gonna blend it. I'll be adding hot water. Going to blend. Okay, once it starts boiling like that, you know it's almost ready. I'm going to add aromant. You can just add salt. I'm also going to add iru. This is iru locust beans. Can you guys see? Mm, look at that. The reason why I put okra because I want it to draw. That's why I put okra. And there's iru in the stew, so I won't be needing much iru inside the wedu. So I'm just going to allow this to cook for another maybe one minute, and then it's ready. Country where I am, this is the only way I can make it to enjoy it. Trust me, guys. We don't have a jabe. <laughs> I don't have a jabe, so I have to use my blender to blend it. 
so yes that is it and now we are going to make the amala 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 That's my little ball.